One of the new updates in the new version of Boxy SVG is the actual shape tool. So in the old version, it used to just be one tool listed on the left hand side. Uh, now they have all these different shapes listed on the left here that essentially all kind of do the same thing in a different sort of way. So the first option is the rectangle tool. And when I select it, and if I click and drag, I can go ahead and draw a rectangle. If I hold shift while I drag, it draws a perfect box. If I were to click on the rectangle tool again, my options here are changing the style, so the fill color, or selecting whether I want to be in planar or polar drawing mode. The difference is planar draws basically a square rectangle that's always starting from a 90 degree angle here, uh, perpendicular with my view box. Polar is more of like a diamond. So as I actually click and drag, I can change its orientation. I can rotate around where uh, as if I were to click on this guy with my edit tool, I can then rotate it after the fact. So polar kind of lets you do both at the same time. Also note that after you're done drawing something, it does not deselect. You actually have to manually click on another tool. If you grab the edit tool and click on the rectangle, you actually get these green dots that allow you to do like a bevel or a rounded rectangle. All the other shape tools do essentially the same thing. So you have circles, you have uh, triangles, different polygons, the star tool, the gear tool. You do have a line tool that just lets you draw basic lines. Uh, you also have a polygon tool that's kind of interesting here. So you have an open and closed polygon. The open one that as you draw lines, it allows you to draw an open unfinished shape. So for example, if I were to hit escape right now, notice how it's not fully connected, which of course for laser cutting and vinyl cutting is bad, but for design that might be okay. Or the one below it is a closed polygon. So no matter what you do, it automatically connects the dots to ensure that you have a closed shape. So it always ensures that there's some type of fill and then again hit escape to deselect. For all of these, if you were to click on them and use the fill or stroke panels on the right hand side, you can go ahead and change its outline and fill density.